What's up, y'all? Uh, I just got out of Ghostbusters uh, Frozen Empire. Um, gonna talk fast, gonna make this one short, because I actually have to get to work. Um, so, had to, uh, I squeezed in this movie before I, uh, my shift started. Um, there were things I liked, there were things I didn't like. Um, it's a fun movie. It's a, it's a Ghostbusters movie. Um, it's gonna be fun for the family. Um, there's some fan service here and there. Um, but this is like the good type of fan service where it's like, you know, it's nostalgic, it's good fan service. Um, but the story doesn't really rely on the fan service, which I kind of felt like Afterlife, like a lot of the plot, the story of Afterlife, um, kind of relied too heavy on fan service. This isn't the case here. This kind of feels like a new, original, fun Ghostbusters movie. So I appreciated that. Um, I will say I, I like this better than Afterlife. Um, I didn't like this better than the first one. I, the first one still reigns supreme in my mind. Um, I might like this better than the second one, though. This might be my second favorite Ghostbuster movie of all time. Um, there's some weird stuff here, like, especially when you get into Act 3. Um, the catalyst that kind of starts Act 3, um, felt off. Like, it, it kind of... It felt out of character for Phoebe um, to do what she does. And I know she's kind of at a low point in this point of the movie. You know, and characters kind of do stuff out of character when they're at low points in their life. But this one kind of felt strange. It kind of felt like you kind of had to stretch the audience's um, believability um, to kind of make that the catalyst. Um, there's also this new character... And I won't spoil uh, anything about it, but it felt really off. Like, there's this trait, this this trait that he has that helps, helps during Act 3 that felt really weird. Like, it felt like you really had to stretch that, you know, belief, kind of, what these characters can do. And I get it, we're watching a movie about these goofy ghosts and these characters that fire proton packs at them so it is you know as far as the imagination can stretch but this this certain characteristic the certain character that has this ability felt it felt like it, it belonged to a completely different ip that i'm not going to name in uh in order not to spoil it for you guys um but yeah it didn't really feel like it was in the right movie. It felt like it was a completely different um, character from a different movie. That's that, though. Um, I did like, you know, the villain. The villain did feel like well developed. Um, felt like a good new original Ghostbusters villain. Um, way better than the Ghostbusters 2 villain, which is probably my least favorite villain. Um, To, uh, to end this one off, I think it's good. I think it's one to check out, especially if you're a Ghostbusters fan. Um, you're probably not going to like it as much as the original ones, but it's still a fun original. It's a new original Ghostbusters movie. Um, and I'm going to end this one off by uh, giving a quick reminder about theater courtesy. Um, don't piss other people off because... If I was a very toxic, very angry person, I would have punched someone in the mouth today. Um, respect the other people in your theater. Um, allow them to enjoy the movie that they paid to enjoy. Don't force your social commentary onto every trailer, every preview, um, the way the theater's formatted. Um, the way your popcorn tastes. Um, hey, I want to learn chess. I don't care. I don't know you. Shut the hell up and watch the movie. Anyways, um, theater courtesy. Remember that when you're going to the theater and watching movies. Have a good one, y'all.